Hello and welcome to this video series How to Produce Your First Website with Blue Griffin presented by Easier Internet Marketing. Now previously we looked at how we can insert tables um, into our Blue Griffin page and how we can put text and now we're going to start looking at how we can insert images onto those pages and as an extra in this video I'm also going to show you how to have the second page and we're going to start thinking about putting links between the pages. So let's go straight now into Blue Griffin. Okay, so here's where we left off in the last video. We've got our um, three column table here and a table there. Let's try it now. I'm going to insert an image into this um, this cell here. Now, we've got two ways of doing it. Either use the, the shortcut icon here or we can go to insert there and click image. Let's just go there a second. Now let's go and search now for our image. What I've done, I've put all the images I want to use into uh, one folder. So let's go and see if we can find that folder. And there we go. There's all the folders we want. Now let's put, first of all, let's put the big tick into it. So open. Now here, simply put in here, allow an empty alternate text. So click on that. OK. And there we go. There we have it. Now a bit big, so let's make it a lot smaller. Put it very smaller. And there we go. That's much better, isn't it? OK. Now we do the same again over here. Let's um, see about inserting here. Use the, the shortcut this time. And again, you'll notice here that all of the images I want to use are in this folder. This is the same folder I've got the um, pages in as well. So that's where all these images are being kept. Let's put in there, um, let's put in Bob the Builder, shall we? Let's put in Bob the Builder. So let's put that one open. And again, click on um, Allow Empty Alternate Text. Click on there. OK, Bob's a bit big, so let's cut him down to size a bit. There we go. So now I've got two images. It's pretty good to me. Let's put one down here. Let's actually put one away from the main body of the text. Let's put one down here. Um, let's insert. Let's go to. And I think this time we'll have, we'll have the guy carrying the world, shall we? Guy carrying the world. Put him in. Again. Click okay, there. And there. There we are. Again, a bit too big. Let's make him quite a bit smaller. Let's put him in a bit more central show as well. So he's now in the middle. So there we've got um, three images. Fairly easy to put in there. Let's go to the top here. Now in this box here, I'm going to put a banner heading. Um, it's a nice shape for banner. Let's see what we've got in way of a banner. So let's go back to images. And what I've done in the image, I've actually installed a banner. There's a banner there. So I want to open that. Again, allow that one there. Okay, wow. A bit too big. Let's um, make that quite a bit smaller. Should we make it quite a bit smaller? Uh, a bit smaller again. Now what we can do here, I'm not too keen now, uh, even with my bad colour colour style, I'm still not keen on this red behind there. So let's um let's just click on that. Let's go to table properties and let's change the colour of that so it's a bit more in keeping what we actually want. So I think dark blue should do that one. Let's have a dark blue there, apply, okay. Right, that's a bit better, isn't it? Okay, not perfect, but a bit better. Now, what I want to do as well at this stage is to um, insert a second page. This is the first page called Start. Let's insert um, a new page, shall we? So let's go up here, Page and New Tab, Untitled. Let's call this one, um, let's show it's a format, Page Properties. Let's call it, let's be really original, let's call it Page 2, shall we? Page 2. Okay, so Page 2. Um, Okay, now I've got page two, and let's get ready now. Do something for next time. Let's insert a table, insert table. And it's going to be one cell again. Um, table properties. Let's make it a bit smaller. Let's call it sixty percent, shall we? Apply. Let's do the cells. And let's add a bit of colour to it. Let's add. Um, let's stick with the blue, shall we? Stick with the blue. There we go. Apply that. OK, and let's there. OK, so we've got a table there. Now let's um, insert an image beneath. So go here, and let's insert an image from our file. What do we got? We've got that will do it nicely. So open that one there. That one there. OK, and let's put it in the middle a bit. Let's resize a little bit, can we? Yes, a bit bigger. That's fine. OK, so what we've got now, we've got the um, start page here with images on, let's go down, the image there as well, looking good. And we've got a page two here, again with a little table there and 
little earth there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. So save as, and let's call it page two, and that's going to go in the same file. So in here we've got um, the start page as well. Let's save that. Okay, we're now saved. So we've now got the start page. We've now got page two. Both get images. So what I want to do in the next video is actually show you how to link these. So put hyperlinks on the images so we can go back and forth between two pages. Okay. Thanks for watching this video produced by Easier Internet Marketing. I'll be back with you again very soon. Bye bye for now.